The way of the warrior does not include other ways, such as Confucianism, Buddhism, certain traditions, artistic accomplishments and dancing. But even though these are not part of the way, if you know the way broadly you will see it in everything. Men must polish their particular way. Those who succeed on the path are called master strategists. Wars must learn this path. The path of war is a resolute acceptance of death. War differs from others in that by studying the path of strategy, he seeks to surpass the rest. The benefit of weapons in strategy. You should not have a favorite weapon. To become over-familiar with one weapon is as much a fault as not knowing it sufficiently well. You should not copy others, but use weapons which you can handle properly. It is bad for commanders and troopers to have likes and dislikes. These are things you must learn thoroughly. Timing in strategy. There is timing in everything. In all skills and abilities there is timing. There is also timing in the void. There is timing in the whole life of the warrior, in his thriving and declining, in his harmony and discord. In strategy there are various timing considerations. From the outset you must know the applicable timing and the inapplicable timing, and from among the large and small things and the fast and slow timings find the relevant timing. This is the main thing in strategy. In a large-scale strategy, the perfect person can lead subordinates, choosing the best solutions. The strategist turns small phenomena into large ones, as if carving out a giant Buddha, according to his half-meter model. I cannot describe in detail how this is done. I devoted every day, from morning to evening, to the pursuit of principle, and when I turned 50, I understood the true path of strategy. Here is the path for those who wish to learn my strategy. To comprehend the path of strategy, train daily, often, on the way of strategy, you master one thing, and at the same time you learn 10,000 things. The spirit of victory is the same in 10 million matches. Cleanse your heart and mind. Your spirit must be balanced and impartial. Even when your spirit is at rest, do not let your body relax. Don't let the spirit be influenced by the body. Don't let yourself be discouraged. When your spirit is not clouded, the clouds of delusion will dissipate, and you will comprehend the real emptiness. By emptiness, I mean that which has no beginning or end. Comprehension of this principle means not comprehension of this principle. Mayamoto Musashi The Book of Five Rings